Guys, before I start talking about these interesting scenarios that are being flashed looking at the price action of Bitcoin in a different time frame, I just want you guys to quickly destroy that like button and to those individuals watching this for the first time to hit the subscribe button and the bell button. If you want to support me even further, a comment is always appreciated because you know a like and a comment is definitely going to boost the algorithm of the channel and also boost the motivation for me to create content like this in a daily basis because you know content like this takes a lot of time takes a lot of energy so if you appreciate what i'm doing then please 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 guys leave a like and comment in the comment section down below thank you very much and now if you start this analysis by looking at the price action of bitcoin in a daily time frame using this bottom indicator the combination of AT anomalies and william percentage error and those who were asking me about the source code guys please check our telegram the source code for AT anomalies crypto new buy sell indicator everything is provided in our telegram group so if you haven't joined our telegram group do it right now the link is also in the description down below now what i want you guys to do is to simply follow this price action along with this AT anomalies and William percentage error indicator because in the past price action, whenever the price of Bitcoin has shown massive retracement, and whenever we have seen this horizontal green line appearing in this indicator, we know around that area the market might have bottom. And if you look at this example from 2017, the price after this bottom signal surged more than 2000 percent here. In 2018, when the price of Bitcoin was clearly in a downtrend, when we had this massive shakeout, this AT anomalies and William percentage years started signaling the market around that area has bottomed. And what happened after that? You can see after some range bound, the price of Bitcoin started with a new impulsiveness. And from the bottom till the top, we searched more than 311%. Now, if we look at this from 2020, the Black Swan event, you can see. When we had this massive retracement, we got a confirmation that around that area, the market might have bottom. And from the bottom line till the top, the price of Bitcoin surged more than 1,500 percent. In 2021, when the price of Bitcoin got exhausted, when we had this sec out, this indicator started giving us buy signal. And what happened after that? You can see the price of Bitcoin started with a new rally where we searched more than 122 percent in 2022 when this indicator gave us a signal when the price of bitcoin is around 15,800 to 16,000 might have bottom you can see we started with a new impulsive movement and from the bottom till the top bitcoin searched more than 110 percent so what i'm trying to pinpoint here is that the price of bitcoin might be giving us another buy signal very very soon before the halving which is going to occur in 2024 next year so that means until next year i think there might be one or two bigger shakeout where this indicator is going to give us another buy signal or the bottom signal so this is exactly what we are waiting to happen very very soon that means the price of bitcoin for the coming days might show some more weakness even this crossover which is about to take place the dead cross will make a lot of sense because in the past price action you can see after the dead cross the price of bitcoin has showed some retracement and this is exactly what we are also expecting to play out in our case i mean after this dead cross we are expecting the price of bitcoin to show another movement like this some range bound and then another continuation here towards 21 20 000, right before finding support before starting this new impulsiveness because i strongly believe that twenty thousand in our case is definitely going to be one of the most important line of support area for bitcoin and after testing around that area we could be starting with another impulsiveness and now even in a weekly time frame according to this rising trend line nothing much has changed i mean the price of bitcoin after getting rejected on the upper trend line from the descending channel has started showing weakness and if this trend is also going to show another continuation here to the downside, you can see again, 21,000 is on the line. So that's why guys, in the past price action, finding support above this rising trend line has led to some very nice impulsive movement here in our price action. So if the price in the media short term is going to get attracted towards this rising trend line one more time, then after the test from this rising trend line, we could be starting with another 
impulsive movement and now even according to this bearish divergence in a weekly time frame the price of bitcoin for the coming days might be showing some weakness might be getting attracted to us this key line before choosing a trend duration and now we know this bearish divergence which played out here in the past price action resulted in a bigger retracement could be happening one more time price getting attracted towards this key line because this here to the downside the rsi is clearly flashing us a bearish divergence which is a sign of weakness and even if we look at this in a bit different way i mean using this weekly time frame we are still forming a rising wedge which is a bearish continuation pattern so if the price of bitcoin is going to show further weakness gets attracted towards this key line then the price opportunity from this rising wedge is again going to be in between 20,000 to 21,000 range yes guys that is another reason why we are expecting the price of bitcoin once it loses the support on 25,000 could get attracted here to the downside 20,000 21,000 before finding bottom before starting a new impulsive movement and we know in a simple way we also have a CMA gap around this 20,000 21,000 range yes this will be our price objective and for now if we simply use this horizontal trend lines 25,000 is a strong line of support once we lose this support the next horizontal support is sitting around 24,000 and the next one after that is around 21 20,000 so that is another reason guys losing the support which you have around 25,000 could lead to another continuation here like this where we could be getting attracted towards the key line before deciding the trend duration now before i switch to other chart i just want to quickly aware you guys about the bonuses which are available for our community members in the description down below buy with with 30,000 deposit bonus plus 1000 usdt giveaway to our community members who sign up using this link within this month yes guys you just have to follow a simple step to claim this 1000 usdt giveaway so if you want to grab this opportunity the link to famex the link to bybit okx are all given in the description down below feel free to check it out feel free to grab this opportunity now let me switch the chart not just only that even according to this leading indicator you can see very clearly why i was so confident the price for this month of september first could get attracted towards the cpi line either the top central or the bottom cpi line before choosing a direction in a smaller time frame you can see after getting attracted towards this bottom cpi line this is exactly where the price found rejection and then started showing weakness so what i'm trying to pinpoint is that price after this bullish breakout failed to continue this uptrend failed to find support about 26,000, which resulted in another continuation to the downside so this falling wedge in a four hour time frame has failed so if the price of bitcoin wants to invalidate the bearish scenario again 27 28 000 must be flipped into proper support so as long as the price remains below this line that means the upcoming days for bitcoin could be bearish and even if you look at this in a bit different way i mean if you simply use this head and shoulder formation of bearish continuation pattern in our case the price of bitcoin is forming a bearish continuation pattern i mean this is our left shoulder this is our head and right now what we could be forming is this right shoulder so if the price of bitcoin after some range bound breaks the support around 25,600 then the price opportunity from this head and shoulder is going to be somewhere around 25,000 to 25,200 range yes guys this will be looked as our upcoming target but we know 25,000 for us right now is one of the most important line which we are not allowed to break because breaking out from this 25,000 will result in another bearish continuation to the downside so this were some of the quick update that i wanted to share with you in this video if you enjoyed my work then please guys please please try that like button and to those individuals watching this for the first time to hit the subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anup bye bye